Correspondent David Martin has been keeping up with a wounded vet who has spent years battling to get proper care from the Veterans Administration in his home state of North Carolina. He finally got so fed up last week that he packed up and drove north. And that's where David Martin picks up the story. Retired Marine Sergeant Major Ray Mackey is walking again. It may not look like much to you, but it beats being stuck in a wheelchair. First time in probably over a year that I was able to stand for any given amount of time. This is exactly what he was doing the first time we met him seven years ago. Learning to walk after losing both legs to a landmine in Afghanistan. Then, as now, he was being fitted for prosthetics at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. So the important part of the whole system is the fit between this and my leg. It's that socket which brought Mackey back to Walter Reed after the VA in his home state of North Carolina kept him waiting. How many times did you come get a, a socket that, because of delays, didn't fit? Probably six or seven times. Confined to a wheelchair, he finally gave up on the VA. At Walter Reed, he got new sockets in less than a week. This is probably the most work I've done on my legs in a while. He's gained a lot of weight, and his hips have lost their flexibility. <sighs> Walking will always be a chore, but it was the inability of the VA to keep him in properly fitting prosthetics that was keeping a good man down. They don't know who they're dealing with. I'm just another number that got pulled out of the number machine. Ray Mackey is back up and back home in North Carolina. And he's gotten a call from his local VA saying they want to come up with a plan for making the system better. David Martin, CBS News, Walter Reed.